Okay, uh, here we go. We've uh, got an update to the Tuesday night into Wednesday severe weather threat. Now, uh, this if you were watching at the very beginning of this video, I have uh, kind of an explainer what each of these, what these colors mean. If you need to rewind this and go back to that to kind of uh, see what the yellow, the yellow, or what the green, the yellow, and the oranges mean, because we're going to be talking about that in more detail uh, coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, so feel free to rewind and go back to that. Uh, that's some important information. So marginal risk level one uh, for Tuesday. Now this is a little misleading. This is uh, Tuesday into Wednesday morning through 7 a.m. Uh, and it's a small threat. In fact, uh, here's what uh, Stormcast has. Really not much of anything, but you notice those little scattered storms like this one here, this one here, up here, this over here, and this over here small chance that one of those could get a little on the strong side and turn severe with maybe some small hail, uh, maybe some damaging wind. This threat is pretty small compared to what's coming our way uh, Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon. But just kind of a, this is the beginning with storms that will get started very, very early Wednesday morning. I think Tuesday night uh, all the way past midnight is likely going to be just fine. It's these storms that try to pop up in the early morning hours uh, before sunset and then as we progress into Wednesday. So this is, think of splitting this at about 7 a.m. This is all before 7 a.m. After 7 a.m. though, things get very, very interesting. This I haven't seen in a while. They have upgraded the, uh, the area from southeast Nebraska and northwest Missouri south to an enhanced risk. So again, you can rewind it and see what that means. But that's a solid threat for severe weather. I'll zoom in here so you can see which counties that uh, includes in Nebraska. And you're looking at Richardson and Pawnee County uh, in the enhanced risk, which is barely in southeast Nebraska, the slight risk, which is bad enough uh, for uh, areas from like Beatrice up towards Nebraska City and then over into south, uh, southwestern parts of Iowa. Omaha, Lincoln, uh, Hebron is in the, the marginal risk. So basically what this means, storms usually start right here and then move south and east. And that's exactly what this model I'm gonna show you in just a little bit is going to show you that the storms start here and then move south and east as uh, the morning, Wednesday morning progresses. So this is a strange thing too. Normally it's the afternoon, early evening that we see storms, not this one. This is going to be a Wednesday morning into the early afternoon hours kind of storm setup. So have your head on a swivel. Make sure you have a way to stay up to date because these storms are going to get fairly strong, fairly quick. Okay, so that's the setup, marginal, slight, and enhanced risk. That's the overall tornado threat is significant too. Now, Omaha, Lincoln is on the edge. That's your 2% risk. And then the 5% risk is that brown. Now this down here, that's a little problematic. That is a hatched area and a 10% chance. So this area from extreme, from Richardson County, where that enhanced risk is at, Richardson and uh, Pawnee, maybe even Nemaha, maybe Johnson County a little bit south, those black hash marks means that an EF2 tornado uh, or bigger will be possible in this area as, as these storms start to progress uh, south and east. So, I mean, the better chance is going to be further south, but we're right on the edge of, the, of that storm system. And I'll show you Stormcast here to show you the timing of that. Uh, but it's, uh, it's been a while, it's been a minute since I've seen storm uh, that I've seen a, a hatched 10% over parts of Nebraska. Uh, it's it's possible and uh, just a head, an early heads up. Now again, Lincoln and Omaha, Beatrice kind of on the line here down towards Concordia, 2% chance for a tornado uh, and not expecting the EF2 or bigger, that's further south and southeast, but the 5% chance right on the edge and then that 10% chance further south. Hail, also going to be problematic. You're looking at uh, just a 5% chance from Lincoln, Omaha, uh, south to, towards Beatrice, and then a 10% chance in this bigger area. So you're kind of getting the theme here. Lincoln and Omaha is kind of the beginning stages, and then the storms intensify as they push south and east. Damaging wind, also a 5 to 15 to eventually a 30% chance for damaging wind. 50, 60, 70 mile per hour wind gusts, maybe a little bit higher, especially the further south you go. Uh, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to show you. Uh, this area. So from Kansas City to Wichita is basically your 
center point, but Lincoln, Omaha, right on that northern edge, uh, and we can't discount the chance for severe weather because it's going to start over us and then make its way south and east. So here's what Stormcast has. This is, again, this is that 7 to 8 a.m. time frame. That marginal risk changes over to the marginal slight and enhanced risk because of this. Look how quickly from 8 a.m. to 10 or 11 o'clock, and let me zoom it back here just a little bit. There's 10 a.m. Already that storm from Beatrice, Lincoln, and Omaha. So that's where you would see the large hail, the damaging wind in our area, uh, and uh, maybe even towards Columbus where a couple of isolated storms trying to pop up. But this does intensify right there. So from nine to 11 o'clock in the morning, the storm will start to intensify. And then it starts to push east, southeast. This is by noon, one o'clock. And then by three o'clock, it's even further south and east. And this is likely this area right here has the better chance of seeing some rotation and uh, some large hail and some damaging winds. So that area, and then quickly by five o'clock, it's already out of Nebraska and out of our hair. So it's that, these early right here from, this is 10, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon, 1 p.m. That time frame from about 10 to one, that's going to be if you live in southeast Nebraska, from Omaha to Lincoln to Beatrice, make sure you know what is happening, where you're at, and where your safe place is at, and have a way to be alerted should severe weather move into your area. So as we get past that time frame, right there, everything clears out, and now the cooler air is starting to move in. This is Wednesday night, 11 p.m. I even see a few snowflakes in that area as that uh, colder air starts to rush in. So uh, before all of that, uh, the severe weather potential is definitely there. So uh, rainfall potential, this is the good news out of all of this. Parts of uh, uh, much of Nebraska has a chance of seeing a tenth to a quarter of an inch. That southeast portion of the state, anywhere from a half an inch to maybe over two inches of rain. Uh, that might be a little too much too fast, but uh, we'll take whatever rain we can get. Hopefully we can dodge the severe weather. But again, uh, that severe weather threat is out there. Uh, I'm going to put that this right here just so you can look at it again uh, where all of the enhanced risk we've got the enhanced risk from southeast Nebraska northwest can uh, northwest Missouri all the way through eastern Kansas into Oklahoma this area right here an enhanced risk because those storms as they form that cold front let me put that on here for you real quick what that is going to look like so that cold front there you go is going to basically move from here in the morning, Wednesday morning, down to here by late Wednesday morning, and then really start going. It runs into that very warm, very moist air about right there, and that's where things really intensify. This is probably around uh, 11 o'clock to noon Wednesday, and then this will slice this way and create uh, all kinds of havoc for eastern Kansas. But we're on the northern fringe of this, the northern edge of it, and uh, we're going to see uh, large hail damaging wind, maybe an isolated tornado uh, for portions of extreme southeastern Nebraska. So uh, if that happens, uh, as always, I will try to do uh, YouTube lives. Um, we've kind of got a pretty decent setup. We're doing a little, little background work back there, <laughs> working on the studio. Uh, but uh, I'll try to do YouTube lives when there's severe weather. That way you can follow along in case you aren't near a TV. Uh, you can watch on your phone, things like that. So like and subscribe so that you know that is, that is coming and that is happening. Uh, so let's, uh, let's all hope for the best, hope for just rain and we can avoid the severe weather, but I want everybody be, to be prepared. So uh, we'll talk to you soon.